Hello guys, today we will be understanding what is python exceptions and how can we handle them in our program. So we need to first we need to understand what is exceptions. So any errors that is being detected while running a program, those are called exceptions. So basically we will be handling uh, them with the try accept statement. So let us first see what is exception and uh, how can we handle it. Say I have an input variable x is equal to int. So what it will do is it will accept any value which is an integer. If I am having an int, enter the number. Okay. So since it's asking for number, if I type any string, so it is coming as exception error. So what is the exception type is? It's a value error. So from here, it's from here I can find out what is the exception error here, exception count. That is the value error. So now how can I handle it? So for this, I need to I need to start with the try statement. Then I need to go for accept accept value error that is what we got the error message as er print er the entered number is not valid okay So shall we run the program? See here. Once I run the program, that is enter the int number, I put here. So I'm getting the exception that is caught here. And then I am getting the output also. Whatever I, the enter number is not valid. So what it is? First, this try statement. So let us understand try statement. This First our, uh, first our execution will happen between the try and accept. If no exception occurs, the accept clause is skipped and the execution of try statement is finished. Okay. If there is no exception, this is ex uh, exited and only this will be finished. And if there is an exception, then if there is an exception in this try clause, then the execution here will be stopped and the exception and then the accept clause will be in uh, will be running okay and the execution continues after the try statement if an execution occurs which does not match the exception named in the accept clause okay now we have value error if there is name error or os error or runtime error occurred during the running of during the, the try statement then what will happen is like it is passed on to the outer try statement if no handler is found it is an unhandled exception so if you don't handle with this name so if you have runtime error right so we i cannot handle this or the program cannot handle this and there will be an unhandled exception occurs and the entire execution will stop okay now see i have value error right if i put name error here if i put name error here what will happen See, enter program has stopped because I have not entered the correct uh, exceptions. Okay. Now, what is the advantage of this is if there is an unhandled exception, then the next part of the code will not run. Say, print success. So, this will only run when I can exit from this code, right? Or if once the code runs successfully above this, then only this print success will get printed. Now I have a value error here. If there is an exception caught and the exception is handled successfully within my code, then I can then my next bit of code will start running. If I cannot handle the exception, then my program will be abruptly stopped.
here I'm not able to handle the handle the error and see my program has been abruptly stopped and it is not printing as the success one okay hope you have understood this part also like for testing we can raise the exceptions on our own so there are many exceptions are there say OS OS error runtime error name error so there, there are many types of uh, different types of different types of errors error messages will be there so if we get any error message while running the program so we can get that error and we can start uh, uh, start trying catching the exceptions with this code we try and accept statement now let us see try I will be raising an exception raising name error hello if you see this accept name error as er so I'm raising an exception type name error with hello so if that name error found print er hello the error okay S similarly we can uh, raise n number of error messages based on the type and also we can have multiple multiple errors multiple errors together so I have name error here right I can have multiple error messages together uh, in one exception block name error we can have uh, value error runtime error let's see now let us see see I can find in very literal is this and then printing the number is valid not valid hope you have understood this how we can handle and exceptions so this is the best way for try and accept and uh, what is the error type you can easily get it once you go for runtime for the code you will be seeing what error is raised so based on that you can go for accept hope you have understood this if you have any doubt please cite it down in my comment box so that i can help you out in understanding in, in clear picture if you like my video please press like button and for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you for watching